Hey guys, down here and welcome back to another video. Keyboard on your smartphone is one of the most used app in your phone. And for the very long time, the basic structure of it haven't changed that much. But ton of small handy features been added over time, especially in Google's own keyboard called Gboard. So in this video, I will share my list of 50 tips you need to know to master Gboard. Starting from prominent feature of the app, Google search integration. If you tap on this Google icon, you can actually enter queries like you do in original Google app or web version of it. Queries like weather, money conversion and even more. You can tap on results directly share it to the text field. Next, Google Translate. This is also one of the key features of the app. Tap on the Google icon, then translate icon over here. Let's choose Hindi and once you start typing and even if you don't select appropriate language on the left end, Google is smart enough to know what language it is and the translation is done real time. It is also useful in situations like you don't even know what exact language a certain word is. All you have to do, copy that word, set English in right end and paste it. Google will do the job for you. It is hello in Japanese. Themes. Google has a pretty good theme engine. To access, tap on Google icon and this palette icon. Here you can choose different solid colors. You can also enable or disable key borders if you want. Click apply. Nice. You can also choose some landscape backgrounds by Google if you want more personal look. But you can make it more personal. Go to themes, tap on this plus icon and you can use any images from your device. I'll choose this one. Pinch and drag to frame properly. Click next, adjust the transparency, done. So in order to go to settings, there's two ways from keyboard. First tap on Google icon, tap on three dots and click the gear icon. But there's a much better way. Long press on the comma key and move up your finger to the gear icon. You are inside the settings in one single swipe. Before leaving settings, there's a feature under preference tab that could save you some battery life. If you turn on the settings, the keyboard will automatically turn into dark theme while phone in power save mode. This will save battery life in smartphone with OLED screens because the dark colors requires less power in OLED displays. But as you can see, this dark theme is not quite black. You can save even more if it is pitch black. So in order to do that manually, go to themes, click more, tap on the third one from the last in solid colors. Turn off the keyboarders if you want maximum black in keyboard. Also turn off the settings I mentioned earlier. So the keyboard will stay in this theme all time. Under the same preference menu, there is an option to enable number of. It is turned off by default. Smartphone displays are much bigger now with lots of vertical space. So it is a nice little feature to speed up your typing. At the same menu, there is an option to enable recently used emojis in symbols keyboard area. Enable that. Again, a nice little feature to save a couple of seconds. Next tip is a big one. There's a really good one hand mode in Gboard in case you never heard about it. Tap on that Google icon, three doors, then tap on the one hand mode. It will shift the keyboard to right hand side and make it easier to type with one hand. Also, you can make it more usable. If you tap on the arrow, you can switch the sides and if you tap on this icon, you can actually change the size of the keyboard and move around to more comfortable position. Tap on this expand icon to make things normal. One hand mode is useful, but get into it, it's not that easy. You can actually enable one hand mode with one hand by using a shortcut. Let's say you want one hand mode in right side. All you have to do is to swipe up from the enter key and release on the one hand mode icon. You can do the same for the left side by swiping up from the comma at bottom. One hand mode in single swipe. Even though we have much bigger displays, some people prefer smaller keyboards like me. To do that, head over to settings, preference, keyboard height. I'll keep it mid short. You can select any height based on your preference. We always wonder how to type mathematical symbols properly in our phone and it's always a hassle. But if you long press on numbers at top row, you can get most of the symbols you need. Basic fractions like 1 by 2, 1 by 4 or 1 by 8 are under number 1 or let's say you want to type 5 square. You can long press on number 2 for that exponential value. Explore all numbers to find out more. Similar to the last tip, you can also long press on characters in symbols keyboard. A lot of cool symbols are hiding under these symbols. Ever wondered how you can type upside down question mark? It is under the question mark character in symbols keyboard. Swipe gesture input. You can swipe over characters accordingly to type a word without lifting your finger. It is very useful in one hand mode. But gesture input has a problem. 
let's say you are trying to type word access but accidentally you typed accessibility so you decided to backspace six characters to make it access but if you click backspace now the whole world will get deleted because that's how backspace work in gesture mode but you can break that behavior by adding a space now if you tap backspace keyboard will remove characters by characters instead of whole world speaking of gestures you can use the space bar to browse through characters just tap and swipe over the space bar and the cursor will move accordingly there's also a gesture for backspace in normal typing if you click backspace the keyboard will remove one character but you can backspace whole word or more at once by swiping from backspace a selection will appear on swipe and based on how much you swipe you can delete multiple words at once there's an undo option also if you accidentally remove a word by using the gesture just tap on the prediction area the last deleted word will recover just like that there's still more gestures you can swipe from the shift key to instantly type an uppercase character similarly you can swipe from the symbols key to instantly type the symbol instead of doing three taps you can get away with one single swipe most of the symbols you need are already in symbols keyboard but there's a second screen if you tap on this symbol to make it even better you can long press on these symbols to get more cool symbols just like we did with numbers but we can access the symbols even faster with the long press by keeping it under main keyboard to enable it go to settings preference and enable long press for symbols another special field in gboard is the dedicated number pad to enter tap on symbols keyboard key then tap on this key at bottom just like a dedicated number pad in full pc keyboard it is useful for people who work in excel sheet and large documents gboard can suggest names from your contacts in top bar by giving contact permission to enable go to settings text correction and tap on suggest contacts another field in gboard that people who type and edit large documents would really appreciate is the text editing panel to get in there tap on google icon three dots and text editing mode here you can move cursor around freely select lines and cut copy and paste in single click the next special mode is a floating keyboard just like the name you can have a keyboard that is movable anywhere on the screen rather than having a fixed one at bottom to enable tap on google icon three dots and floating keyboard this is useful in devices with touch issues you can move the keyboard and resize if you can't type any specific characters you can disable floating keyboard by going through the same path to satisfy your gif needs gboard has a really good gif engine to enter tap on google icon then gif it is compatible with most of the messaging apps including whatsapp to help you out there's a tag at bottom to find what you're actually looking for or you can make your own gif using the camera on smartphone by clicking this button explore yourself this is a really fun feature like gif there is also a tab for stickers i like these stickers more because these are custom made for regional use click on this plus icon to get into the sticker store if you want more stickers like gif you can create stickers based on you by using bitmoji feature back to main keyboard you can actually customize the top bar shortcuts by dragging one in bottom to top i personally don't use gif and stickers so i'll keep it in bottom word prediction in all keyboards is awesome it makes typing faster but sometimes it is annoying to see some words like your passwords let's say i type my password somewhere and gboard keep showing it in my predictions to delete this word from my predictions all you have to do is drag and drop the word to into the spin this next tip could actually save some time for you personal dictionary allows to save big strings of words in small shortcuts to enable go to settings dictionary personal dictionary tap on language to add new click on this plus icon i'm gonna type this channel link and set yt as a shortcut so whenever i want to share my channel link all i have to do is type yt and tap on the top bar you can use this tip to save phone numbers email id addresses and even more if you want to capitalize bunch of words instead of doing it one by one select the section of words and click on shift key to capitalize first character of all words if you tap again you can capitalize every character on that word and one more tap will bring to its first form like in whatsapp you can search emojis in gboard tap on emoji key and at the top you can search for specific emoji but what if you don't know the name of an emoji don't worry 
tap on the draw icon and you can search by drawing and I gotta say Google is pretty good at recognizing even worst attempts. Before emojis, we use it to express our emotions in a different way using emoticons. You can actually use set of popular ones by clicking this icon under emoji keyboard. Gboard is also one of the best keyboard in terms of language availability. Gboard provides over 100 different languages in different input methods. To add more languages, go to settings, languages, click on the add keyboard. Like gesture input, there is an option for handwriting input and it works flawlessly and it is available for regional languages too. Some people really appreciate this feature. Gboard also provides an option to input English through Morse code. It is available under US English language and for the right person, this could change their life. Or you can try this out if you just want to learn Morse code. To know more about this, click on this card. I made a dedicated video about Morse code in Gboard. Once enabled all your languages, you can arrange all of them by going to settings, languages and then tap on this pencil icon. Rearrange your most used languages at the bottom to switch between them easily. You can also delete the ones you don't want from here. To switch between languages, you can click on this globe icon but if you have more than two languages, instead of moving through all of them, choose the right one you want by long pressing on spacebar. Once you figure out a way to switch between languages through spacebar, it is better to disable that language switch key and save some space. To do that, go to settings, preference and disable language switch key. The enter key has one more gesture other than one hand mode. If you long press on it, you will see an option to switch between text fields like a type functions in a PC keyboard. It is really useful when you are filling up big forums. By default, Gboard app doesn't have any app shortcuts, but you can change that by going to settings, advanced and tap on show app icon. Below that, there is an option to give permission to Google to assess your user stats and what and how you type in Gboard. If you're concerned about your privacy or if you don't trust Google, you can turn off these two settings. That is tip number 50 and I got one more tip for you. Subscribe to this channel. Because if you made it this far in this video, you will probably like my other videos too. So do that. So that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next one.